Hey guys, I'm Vitaly, co-founder at Parsera. And I'm Misha, an Arabic founder of Parsera. And uh... so Parsera is a tool for scrapping and extraction web data using AI. Recently, we've developed an NI8 node, which is now a part of NI Cloud. And we're going to show you how it works. So Misha, stage is yours. All right, so we decided to show you uh, as an example to take the uh, Amazon search, uh, search for the iPhones. So here you can see how the page looks like. We have a lot of the listings and uh, we copy the link and we want to extract the data from this link. So we go into our Anytown workflow. Uh, as, a, as an example, I'm showing you this simple one. Mm -hmm. So we open the, the first step and uh, we have to provide the link here. So we're creating the field URL by spacing link, so now we have it. Uh, the next one, the next step is to add our AI scraper node, which you can mm -hmm. search. If you're using cloud, you can just search for that. If you're using self-hosted version, you have to install it uh, via NPM. So we have AI scraper, uh, it's already installed. And now we just depict the extract from URL action. Uh, and here we take in the URL and uh, uh, the only main thing left uh, to get the data is to describe what we want to extract. So, mm -hmm. uh, Vitaly, maybe you can help me with the, the data. Sure, you know, by looking at this page, I'd like to get uh, name, uh, number of reviews, of course, price, and, you know, like URL to the product page. All right, so let's go step by step. The first was the name. Uh, it will be the name of the product, so we put paste the field name and the describing it in the mm -hmm. prompt uh, for model to know what to look for. Uh, the next one was uh, price. Right? Price, yeah, price. Uh, it will be a price of price of the product, uh -huh. and we will change the type, so we want to make sure it will be always the number. All right. Uh, the next one will be... Number of reviews. Reviews, okay. It will be the integer number this time, and it will be number of uh, reviews, and the last was the link, right? Yeah. Okay, so URL, URL, uh, where it will be link to the product listing. So, yeah, we defined the schema. This is the basic attributes. Now we are ready to execute the step. Uh, so we will have, we will get data back soon. Uh, it will, in this example, it will take a bit longer because we extracting a lot of data and mm -hmm. usually the waiting time depends on how many uh, rows you want to extract. So if it's the one item, it will be quick. If there is, in this case, it will be plenty of data, so we have to wait. By the way, does it also depends on the amount of info on the web page in general? What do you mean by the info? I mean, for example, you want to get one piece of data I mean, just the name of the product, yeah, but yeah. there are a lot of different information on that web page and it takes time for our uh, large language model mm -hmm. to analyze all that page. No, it's it, the main dependency. The main uh, dependency is the amount of the, uh, this, is the, this is the size of the output. So the more okay. data you want to get back, the longer you have to wait. All right. The input is not so important. All right. So guys, we're going to play some elevator music and oh, wait. Already, it's already here. So okay, next time. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, the data was extracted. We have plenty of records here. We have uh, three, three, uh, three pages of data, so we can ha we can ha see them in a table. And now we can proceed to with uh, the other steps. Uh, we have 24 items to automate and to move forward. So amazing. Yeah. So guys, now you know how it works. Enjoy your usage. Check it out the link below. Check it out our NA note. And take care. Bye-bye.